Vendors say there is little to no difference between the new market and where they previously worked from, arguing that council has failed to provide for their basic needs. The new site has ablution facilities, but vendors say, despite them already paying monthly rental, they are still forced to fork out $2 whenever they need to make use of the facility. Another thorn in their flesh is the price of water, which they say is exorbitant at the market. We have a problem in our open market. If you compare to a Shakati and Otapi open markets, they are fully fledged. They have electricity and water, and their infrastructure is top-notch. But here, we don't have electricity, and we have to buy water every day. Even if it rains, there is nowhere we can be accommodated. That structure that has been put up does not protect our produce. Our goods, especially when it rains, they rot. Council really needs to bring change here, urgently. As vendors operating here, we are buying water and cooking in the open. Our tables are just in the open and we are paying so much for this place. Every day I spend about $30 for water and at the end of the day, our profit margins are drastically reduced and cannot even sustain our families. The vendors called on the market to avail funds to be used towards the upgrading of the open market. We want the place to be upgraded and the provision of electricity and that we must not buy water anymore. We want a better place with electricity so that we can be able to continue selling even after sunset. Sometimes we want to go beyond five, but we are afraid because there is no water and electricity. There are also no security guards here. This bottle of water cost $1.50 and all these cups cost $1.50 too, which is equally to the same price of a 25 liter, so they should review their prices to accommodate us, please, as we are struggling. Town Mayor Erastus Machina responded that council is aware of the vendors' complaints, but said due to unavailability of funds, council turned what was previously a taxi rank into a temporary open market to accommodate the vendors. The matter, he said, will receive renewed attention in the next five years, still depending on the availability of funds.